Love Letter has been a huge hit in the world of gaming. If you're a gamer and if you haven't been living on the proverbial desert island, chances are that you played this game and probably chances are that you like it because it's an incredibly enjoyable game. Um, I reviewed it last year and uh, my review is very positive because I think this is a little fun smart game and well suppose that you haven't uh, played the game yet then you can go back and watch my video for it in that video i covered the main the main rules and the main mechanics of the game in this video i'm not going to talk about uh, rules and mechanics i'll assume that you know them but i'm going to be talking about components but components of what of two editions of love letter that ag has been nice enough to send me for reviews so these are two review copies these two editions are the legend of the five rings love letter edition and the wedding edition actually let's start with the wedding edition which is one of the the strangest things that i've ever seen in the world of gaming not so much for the thing itself but for the conditions at which it is sold as far as I understand, after looking at the website of AEG, this is a special edition for people that are getting married, and I understand that. Um, but the point is that you need to provide a wedding invitation of your own wedding in order to be able to purchase the game. Which is kind of funny, it's like a, I don't know, a company that makes bridal gowns, but that only sells them to people that actually are getting married. Suppose there's somebody who's a collector of bridal gowns, uh-huh, nope, no way, no, you're not going to be able to buy it. It's a strange condition. Um, so as far as I say, suppose that you want to give this as a present to friends that are getting married, uh, I guess that you can't buy it. But if you're getting married, then you can buy a lot of these copies to give to your guests, I guess. Uh, a strange market decision. I don't see why you can't have a wedding edition sold to anybody and then people just decide what to do with it, for example, to give it to their friends. Whether they're getting married or not. Love letter, the wedding edition. So what's the big deal? Uh, let's see what this edition is like. Well, it is wedding themed um, in a sense. Um, well, color code white, uh, the big color associated with weddings list in our culture. Here you have the nice bag that the components are stored in. In the bag you have a smaller baggie with cubes used to keep track of points, white again. The little rule book, here it is, with some of the art of the game on the cover and the rules, nothing incredible. To write about, uh, to write home about, all the little biography. I have to say, look, King Arnaud. Uh, since I'm Mark Arnaud, I'm pleased by seeing that there is a king in among my ancestors, and I didn't even know that. My parents never told me. Then we have a list of cards uh, that can be used during the game. Here we go, and then we have the cards themselves, and this is when it really matters when you're looking for a special edition, then you want to look at the art. The princess, incredibly important, nice art. The countess, uh, clearly looks like somebody who showed up at the wedding trying to steal the spotlight from the bride. Uh, look at the Countess, Daphne. she can attract some attention on herself. We have the King. Again, you see the, the white border, the ornaments, that's wedding themed. And also you have the bridal dress here. Other than that, it is still pretty much fantasy, middle ages type of art. We have the Prince, the handmaid. I like I like the pose. I like the pose is not in the traditional um, I don't know like portrait pose. It really looks like this image was captured when the handmaid wasn't looking. It's that's a sort of photographic philosophy to it, not just portrait philosophy behind. The Baron The Priest 
and the guard. Nice to see female guards because I always I'm always pleased when female characters are represented in games. I think they are solely underrepresented in the world of games. Always happy when that is not the case, like in this case. And I really like the art of, of this card. This is probably my favorite card in this set. So this is it for the uh, for the wedding edition of Love Letter. The game is the game that you know. The art uh, is different. Other than that, it is the game that you know. Get married so you can get a copy. How about the other edition here? Love Letter Legend of the Five Rings, which is a game that I have never played. I don't know it. But maybe you're a big fan, so you want to have your edition of Love Letter with that theme. Or you just like the, the theme, the general Japanese-inspired theme. First thing to notice, this box is kind of tough to open. It doesn't have the traditional, the traditional slits there that make it much easier to open the box. So this is going to be embarrassing, but I don't really... Uh, I've opened it earlier and I'm having a little bit of a hard time. There we go, there we go. And edit that and uncut. Love Letter, Love Letter, Five Rings Edition, Black Bag. Really like the way it looks. Sorry, but looks much better than the Wedding Edition. We then have the usual cubes, which are red. The roll book has the art from the game, but also has uh, more art inside. The art that represents the characters with the biography of the characters. And then here we have the princess. You can take a good look at the art because showing you the art and ranting a little bit about it is kind of the point of this video. The sensei. So here we have different characters that take on the roles of the traditional love letter characters. The manipulator. If you know the game, these cards probably mean much more to you than they do to me. I still like the art, it's really nice. Matsumizato, the Hatamoto, Izawa Tenkawa, the Shugenja, the Diplomat, and the Courtier. Hmm, nice mask. And the Guard. Lots of guards. Oh yes, and the the usual the usual uh, player aids. So, oh, in case you're curious about the back of the cards, these are the back for that edition. These are the backs for this edition. So here we go. Love ladder. Um, a game that you probably already know, a game that you probably enjoyed in case you want to add more copies to your collection, in case you want to uh, have variants with different art, now you have two extra options. Maybe you say 1.5 options because this option doesn't seem to be open to everybody. This one is, and it's super nice, this one a little harder to get, a little harder to come by, but hey, there's a chance for you. Um, maybe you're not married yet, maybe you're planning to remarry, who knows. More variants, uh, more art, definitely pleasant art. I really like the one for uh, the five rings. This one is definitely pleasant and nice too. Personally, I think I like the original art better. Um, the art of the version of Love Letter that reproduces the original art is very simple, so may ask are very pleasant and yet somehow um, very enjoyable. It is, after all, a very simple game. It is a little bit of a stylized game. It's uh, not abstract, but very abstracted. And I think that that art, that simple art, somehow suits the mechanics and the feel better than over-realistic or very realistic art. But hey, 
very realistic art, very detailed art. Uh, it's nice too, so nothing wrong about it. It's good to have choices, and definitely you have enough choices when it comes to choose the additional blood letter that you want to play and or add to your collection.